You guys see that sound? That's my bike. <laughs> That's how messed up my bike is. Going, everybody I am on my way to another interview right now I forgot to start the vlog today uh, back at home but I'm almost there I may be like 10 minutes out so wish me the best of luck I'm really actually kind of hoping for the shop it's not too far away to the point where I don't feel like driving there um, and it seems like a nice job the only thing I'm not really too fond of all right there was a cop there I didn't want him to see the camera <laughs> I don't know I don't, I don't know how a cop would think about me holding the camera but anyway, um, the only thing I'm really kind of concerned about is the hours for this job. They had 7 to 3, which I can deal with. That's fine. Um, they also had another one from 3 to 11 in the afternoon. So 3 to 11 o'clock at night. I'm not really okay with that. I think I personally would probably turn down the job if they told me those are my hours. Um, just because it doesn't, that doesn't sound like something I want to do. I don't want to work from 3 to 11, you know, doing help desk stuff. So, yeah, there's that. Uh, and then there's a weekend shift, but that's fine. I don't mind working the weekend. So, anyway, almost there, guys. Let me roll and wish me the best of luck, and I'll see you guys after the interviews. Alrighty. Well, I just got done with the interview. I, I don't know. I don't. I didn't really get a good vibe from it. You know, like when you get done an interview, you kind of like, or not when you get done an interview, when you get do something like that kind of get a good or a bad vibe, vibe about what's going to happen. Well, I don't know, I kind of got like a negative vibe from it. Just didn't hit it off really too well. Um, I don't know, they asked me a couple questions that like I was so, I was, I get nervous in situations like that and I tend to like draw blanks on stuff like when they ask me questions but now I'm like driving home, I'm like oh my god, you know, what the fuck, I could have answered that easily or something. But yeah, um, heading home now. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. It's only 10 something. The interview is really short. Like, it really started at like 10 and it ended at 10.30. It was supposed to go for like an hour and a half. They scheduled, but I guess they had, they were busy because they really kind of like, they asked, they asked the questions and then they were like done, you know. They didn't really, there was no chit chatting or anything like that, like with the other company and stuff. So. In one mile, keep left. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I might, I think about going for a bike ride, but my wrist's killing me lately, and I don't really want to stretch it, but we'll see. Bike ride would be nice, though. Nice, like, air clear and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, let me get rolling, and I'll see what we're going to do for the rest of the day, all right? All right, yeah, I'm going biking today. My bike's a little still busted. We haven't had time. It, my grandfather was saying it just needs an adjustment, so... Um, yeah, not too bad. It's better than buying a whole new bike, I guess. So, but I'm gonna go anyway. Uh, we might stop. My grandmother's at their uh, their barn along the path, so we might stop in there and say hi and see uh, her horses and stuff. She has a miniature uh, pony, her miniature horse, and a uh, like a huge horse apparently. So maybe we'll get to see them. That'd be pretty cool. See that barn over there? If you guys see it right there, that's my grandmother's barn. Supposedly she's there unless she took the horses out for a, uh, a ride. So we'll see. All right, so hang on here. Alrighty, so I've been looking for a way down to the water because it's like a sheer cliff along all that. So as you can probably see behind me, I found this uh, old staircase going down here. Hopefully no one steals my bike. You know, I'm pretty sure I left my uh, my skateboard outside my car 
when I got my bike out. Pretty sure it's still there. <laughs> so hopefully no one stole that. But anyway, wow, this looks awesome. Look at this. I'm gonna try and record a time lapse. Uh, so let's see how that goes. Funny, I completely forgot my batteries, my backup ones, so I only have my one with me and it's not, it's like half, half dead now. <laughs> so, this is pretty cool by the way. Alright, another time. Reason, let's talk interviews. I've never liked the idea of interviews, I've never liked the concept of them, I've never liked them at all. I think interviews are a very rude way of basically trying to express that I'm in charge, you're trying to get this job. It's not how it works all the time because while you're interviewing me, I'm also interviewing you as a company. So take today's interview for example. I really don't think it went well. I didn't really like the vibe I was getting or the attitude I was kind of getting from the people who interviewed me. Um, the one guy, he seemed kind of snobby just by the way he was sitting and, you know, the way he kept looking at me and the type of questions he asked. And that kind of, it, it's a two-way thing. Just because you're interviewing someone does not give you the right to act like you're better than me. Remember, you're trying to find someone to fill that job. I'm trying to fill, I'm trying to find a job to work at that I'm going to enjoy. If I don't really think I'm going to enjoy your job, even if you give me the offer, I'm probably going to turn it down. So... Note to future employees and, or employers and myself in general because I might be employing people down the road. Treat the person you're interviewing with respect to a sense that, yes, they, they know. I walked in there knowing these people are in, like, they hold my, like, job in their hands if I get the job or not. I, I already know that. You don't need to act that way. Act as an equal. I might be working with you one day. You never know. Don't treat me... Like, this is just what I got from today's interview. I I didn't really like it. I don't think I'm going to be gone for it, even if they offered me. Um, it just didn't... I didn't like the environment that I was placed in to begin with. Um, also, th th they put me inside a room. I didn't really mind it, but it kind of seemed odd. There was literally a thermostat on the wall. I doubt it was broken, but apparently it was broken. The room was hot as shit. Like, almost like they were trying to make you feel nervous in a sense, or make you uncomfortable. Which they did a very good job of. I was very uncomfortable inside this interview. I was not... Like, the last interview I went on, very comfortable. The guy actually seemed to want to get to know me. All the employees seemed to want to get to know me. This interview seemed like they put a wall up and said, We're in charge. You're interviewing for our job. We're the people in charge. You are nothing. That's what I felt. So... Uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to get the offer anyway. 
just eh. So this is such a cool spot, by the way. You guys saw it from the time lapse right there. I'm gonna keep recording that, by the way, and maybe whatever. So I don't know. I hate interviews. I hope if I'm ever on the side where I'm interviewing someone, I hope I'm not an asshole or come off that way. So, my thoughts. Do you guys hear that sound? That's my bike. <laughs> That's how messed up my bike is. I don't know, my grandfather says he could uh, show me how to fix it, so hopefully he can. I'm just cruising back right now. I ended up, uh, I ended up going to the barn. <laughs> you guys are gonna be mad because I forgot my camera on my bike and I left my bike at like the entrance area so I didn't get to record anything I apologize I really do so uh, maybe next time I come up I'll show you guys oh my god my bike sounds so bad <sighs> almost there this red bridge is like the last little section <laughs> uh, so we're almost back so I'll see you guys a little bit alright all right, we're back at the car fucking hill man I can make it almost all the way out but I wanted to get my camera so the question here did I leave my skateboard at my wheel where I took it out of my trunk or is it in my trunk it's not there right now I'm very concerned that it's not gonna be there at all because I don't remember putting it inside my trunk <laughs> so I guess we're about to find out huh all right let's see all right, and the verdict is, oh, thank God. I was smart enough to put it back. Ooh, I thought my trunk was gonna fall. All right, cool. I gotta make sure I put it back in. <laughs> I was a little worried there, so. By the way, I have to say, bike mount was overall successful. I hope it wasn't too shaky. I put on the stabilizer on the camera to stabilize the shot, but, it's a completely rock trail, so I don't know, we'll see. Um, let's head home, yeah. All right, you all, I am ending today's vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I gotta get to bed, and I have to edit this and then get to bed. It's gonna be a fun night. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot of editing tonight because I recorded a lot of montage footage, but hey, I think it'll be fun and I think it'll look good inside the stream. Um, so anyway guys, I'll see you guys all again soon. Maybe tomorrow I'm gonna try and record a vlog. Um, at work and we'll see how it goes i don't know what we're going to be working on um but that's it as always keep being awesome and i'll see you in the next one all right bye